Hey, Chase the Recom Actual, coming to you today to talk about the Arteryx Alpha Jacket Gen 2 and the Alpha Jacket LT Gen 2 from US Leak here. Let's dig into it. So when we're talking about the Alpha Jacket and Alpha Jacket LT, both Gen Dose, what we want to talk about first is what are these jackets actually designed for? What similarities do they have, which is many? And then what are their design differences, which warranted a actual designation difference. Well, let's talk about all of that. But first, I'm going to mention to you that, look, you're considering buying something from US Leak Gear, and it's got the Arteryx brand name. That carries a certain joie de vivre that conveys uh, not an inconsiderable investment. But you will be happy to know that your investment will result in something that's going to offer you a lifetime of quality and performance. So with that quality and performance in mind, hold that in your head as we dig into these features. So overall, these jackets are Gore-Tex. The Alpha Jacket is going to be, the Gen 2 Alpha Jacket, of course, is going to be a ripstop Gore-Tex, and the LT is going to be a plain weave Gore-Tex, both obviously completely waterproof. If we start here at the beginning, which I've been reliably informed is a very fine place to start, up at the top, we do have their tuckable hood. Now, that is a zipper closure. It all folds away very neatly. It does have a little a Velcro reinforcement if you wanna go ahead and uh, actually close that up without zipping it. The hood opens up nice and wide. And this entire jacket system is what Arteryx called military fit. Generally what that means is it's designed to work with layering systems and or being worn over top of or underneath gear, like plate carriers and chest rigs, that sort of thing. That's what you're going to expect from the Arteryx Leaf line. Now, this hood is not big enough to actually fit over uh, a helmet, especially if you're wearing nods or something like that. I mean, you could try if you want to, but really the point of that is this hood is to just keep your head dry. It's got all the normal adjustments that we'd expect from a fine clothing manufacturer at the nape of the neck, at the back of the hood, all that good stuff. Moving to the front of this jacket, and in fact, both jackets, we do have a full zip closure, and both jackets are going to have the elastic weave internal uh, pockets for carrying your uh, personal sensitive items. Both jackets also have waterproof ID tags. If this is not something you're buying personally, but is in fact an issued item, or if you just buy it personally and you wanna write a little message to yourself every time you put it on to keep you happy. Both jackets also feature chest zip pockets and what we've also come to expect from quality clothing manufacturers that take into account that you may be in a colder or warmer environment or may go from static to very vigorous activity in a short period of time, nice half zip vents under each armpit. Both jackets are also going to have their hem closure system. And one thing I really want to give our Arteryx props for here with their hem closure system is the actual elastic and, and uh, barrel lock for the hem closure is actually captured in this really neat little, um, well, capture system, uh, whatever you want to call it, to keep it from dangling down. And that's something that we've all dealt with, especially if you're wearing like battle belts or some other sort of uh, belt system. Uh, harness, something like that. This is dangled down and gets caught in it. You're trying to move around, take your jacket off, whatever. Uh, it can be a real pain in the hem. Huh. Now, looking at the LT jacket, one quick difference I am going to note is it has some nice little foamies in the bottom of the hem. They're going to make it a little bit more comfortable on your body if the barrel lock gets between you and something hard. That's our Tarek's looking out for you. Rounding out the similarities and features is Arteryx's apparently patented wrist closure Velcro system. And uh, what that is, is again, it's a neatly designed, it's a cool material, but again, Velcro wrist closure, keeping that 
uh, the, the wrist of the actual jacket tight to your wrist so it's not sliding around, getting over your watch, under your watch, your GPS, getting in the way of uh, weapons manipulation, that kind of thing, should it become a concern. So differences of the jacket. Starting out, we do have the patch panel uh, on the arm of the Alpha jacket and not on the LT model. Also, what I did mention before, this is a ripstop nylon uh, Gore-Tex and this is a plain weave Gore-Tex nylon. Uh, and they are also considerably different in weight, uh, not just actual physical weight of the product, but the weight of a fabric. This is much thicker. It doesn't have as much give or flex. This is going to pack up much smaller. And in fact, that is the intent of the difference in design. When weight and packing size is of primary concern to you, but you need to stay waterproof, the LT jacket is for you. However, if weight uh, and packing size less of a concern, you're probably gonna wanna go with the plain Alpha Gen 2. Otherwise, these things are fairly similar, and uh, what I'm really gonna say about the differences, yes, operationally, this may be a little bit warmer than the LT jacket. Obviously, packing size and weight, a little bit different. Uh, they're both really, really well designed. In fact, when we were talking about making this video, what we came away with is the way our Terrace Leaf does their clothing, in presentation and design, it feels like an Apple product. I mean, just as an example, they could have left this internal elastic pocket unmarked. No one would have commented on that, but it's got the little LT on there. It's, it's just that extra mm, that uh, really, you're like, ah, this is our Terex. It's got this, this, this capture system for the hem closure. You could have had a tiny little hook. You, you could have had a hook. You could have had anything else, but this double stitched, reinforced, glued and sewed whole system to retain this bungee. Does it work better than probably something simple? Yeah, probably. But is it just that extra? Did it clearly a group of people spend a considerable amount of time deciding on the shape of the closure system for your cuff? Yeah, it really seems that way. Uh, it, it, like I said, when you when you buy a new iPhone, you open up that package, and you're like, ah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I really hope this is worth twelve hundred dollars. Well, I don't know about the iPhone, but I can tell you that this probably really is worth the money. Uh, these are obviously extremely high quality jackets. And again, most of the stuff for Arterix Leaf has a long history through the global war on terror of holding up being uh, robust and professional use clothing. So guys, if you want more information on the Arteryx Leaf Alpha Jacket Gen 2 or the LT Gen 2, you can check that out at US Leak Gear. That is us-leakgear.com or hit them up on their social media. There's a lot of great products on the website. Check it out. Obviously, all the Arteryx Leaf stuff. It's, uh, well, it's really one of those things you need to try it to really understand just how cool these products are. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Remember, train hard, live free. See you next time.